Greetings. As you might have guessed, we're going to be doing something new today. I have gone and violated the laws of nature and scorched my own morality by creating some horrifying fountain pen abominations. For real though, it's not too bad. I won't be slapping a vanishing point nib onto a platinum placer or anything like that. That'd be terrible. No, my monsters won't be ruining any warranties. In fact, some might not be monsters at all. I will let you be the judge as to whether or not you'll chase any of these away from your village with pitchforks and torches. So in terms of Franken pen today, what I'm talking about is taking a singular model of a fountain pen and then just kind of swapping parts out with other models in different colors and seeing what we can come up with. Some good, some unpleasant. If Lamy was naming this 2000 that I created, Lamy of course would be on all caps, followed by steel black. All one word, lowercase, because that's how Lamy likes it. Speaking of liking it though, come on. By simply taking the cap from a stainless steel 2000 and literally popping it onto a black one, you create something that looks like it should already exist. It looks even better posted. And it even has a little cabochon on the piston knob to balance it out. Yeah. Okay. Here's our first true monster. Uh, I'll be honest. When I brought this abominable Sailor Pro Gear Slim to life, I was only thinking about the name. Here, we've got the cap from Rabbit Ear Iris, the barrel from Taco, and the grip from the Follow the Mermaid pen. So... I hereby name this creation Rabbit Ear Mermaid Taco. And uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Purple, pink, sparkly coral, transparent, milky, finial, and then some, some, some nice clashing trim too uh, here with the golden steel uh, with a teal grip section. I, I, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this one. Yeah. I concocted a Lamy Safari that I actually think is pretty decent. So we've already got a black, we've got a white, and we even got a white black. What they didn't have though was this, the Lamy Safari black, white, black, black, white, black. No, that's too much. Um, let's just go with the Safari Panda Bear. That fits, right? This pen is also like a panda bear, uh, physically resilient enough to fall out of a tree and be just fine. I'll admit, I'm disappointed in myself for this one because it is, uh, it's unpleasant. Say hello to the pilot vanishing point, clashy McSad pants. One part red coral, one part blue gold, two parts disappointment. The coral is sparkly, the blue is not. The back half has silver trim, the front half has gold trim. Plus, I summoned the audacity to put a gold nib on there. I'm not going to look at it, but, um, there. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's not good. Let's balance the scales a little bit. Ever since they were released in tandem, the Pilot Custom 74 in teal and Merlot always struck me as a good color combination that worked so well together. So when I started this list, I knew I wanted to finally see it for myself. So behold, the Custom 74 in teal -o. Now, there is another Japanese pen brand that loves to have caps and barrels with different colors. Pilot though, not really their thing, but I think it could be. It's not half bad. Want to know what is bad though? Good, neither do I. Just kidding, I've seen it, so now you have to see it too, because that's what fountain pen brands are for. I give you the Lamy Safari wrong sandwich, because we've all been given the wrong sandwich at some point in our lives. And it's terrible. Sure, you can be polite and just try to enjoy it, but it would be upsetting, especially if it's tuna. Unexpected tuna does irreparable damage to your soul, much like this pile of garbage is doing to us right now. Yellow safari, pink safari, cream safari. Terrifically miserable. Be gone. In order to defeat some of these nasty monsters that I, in my hubris and arrogance, thought I could control, I created a hero, a light, to drown out the darkness. The Kaveco All Sport 
in Vibrant Iguana. I feel like there's hope for me yet. Look at the color. Look at the color balance once it's posted. It's wonderful. Vibrant Violet and Iguana Blue united to drive out the monstrosities. Find a compatible friend and you can swap the parts because both versions are excellent. Okay, I was just kidding. Making beastly nightmarish monstrosities is too much fun. So tell me, have you ever sat awake at night and considered maybe polished rainbow and chunky brown might actually go well together? Well, fear not, here's your answer. The Conklin Bright and Beefy, featuring lightweight deep brown barrel, a luminous cap that weighs 96 pounds, and a subtle grip section with a conservatively designed nib. Posted, the pen provides you with tremendous back weight, helping develop your forearm strength or cause <laughs> catastrophic damage to your boss's desk. I call this one Jolly Holly, since A, I'm definitely getting some holiday vibes from it, and B, we're kind of doing the whole swap thing today, aren't we? So, the Platinum 3776 Century in Borgogna and Laurel Green can combine nicely, in my opinion. Both of these colors work really well with the gold trim of this pen, and the fact that they're translucent keeps the color transitions from being too jarring. I, I could quickly get used to this one. This nasty thing was whipped up using soft mandarin, Bordeaux, and sweet banana Caveco Sports. What upsets me most about this pen is that I'm sure that there are some internal organs in these colors. So that's troublesome. But have no fear, we'll just put a cloudy yellow cap on it, <laughs> fix it right up. Yuck. Uh, <laughs> all right, so this is bothering, now for, bothering me now for another reason. You see how you can look at the burgundy going right into the cap, you can see it clear as day. It's like wearing a dark undershirt with a light colored top and being able to clearly see the whole outline. But you know what? Some people are brave enough to do that without fear of judgment. So maybe, maybe this is your uh, would-be muse of societal apathy. Uh, clearly this pen doesn't care at all. Maybe we can all take a lesson from, uh, from the old banana kidney here. Thank you for putting up with me today. I myself encountered a pleasant blend of entertainment and anxiety. Have fun, and ride on. <laughs>